Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. Y'all, we are going to do something oh so stinking cute today. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by. And a big welcome to all of my new subscribers. I haven't been able to say welcome to all of you in the comments, but thank you so much for choosing to subscribe to my channel. Today, we're going to pull out a file folder and we're going to turn that file folder into something awesome. And you know what else? This is going to be one of those extremely inexpensive paper crafts that really pack a punch. And this is what I'm talking about. I'll give you a closer look in just a minute, but y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. All right, y'all, so this is what I'm talking about. This is a nine by four mailable that we're going to make using a decorative file folder. The outside alone is just gorgeous. Wouldn't you love receiving something like this in the mail? So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be taking a file folder and this is what we're going to make with it. It's going to be one of those perfect all-in-one crafts because we are going to make the sweetest little card that also has space on the back for a photograph or some additional notes if you want. But it's going to be so simple because this is not going to take much time to make and it is going to be extremely inexpensive. Why is it so inexpensive? As I said in the opening, we're using file folders, but to make this project, we only need one half of this file folder to make the insert, as well as to make the envelope. So from one file folder, whether it's decorative or not, you're going to be able to make two envelopes and two inserts. Now that is some really economical paper crafting. So I have my file folder. I decided to use this one and it comes from the same pack as this one. Then I have these beautiful little butterfly paper clips. I don't know where I got these. I believe my sister Denise gave me these a long time ago because she gave me some paper clips and I think that these were a part of that. Then I'm going to use some of my Tim Holtz word stickers. You don't have to have word stickers for your project. I'm just using them on this one. I am going to be using some Distress Ink just to age the card a little bit and I'll be using the Walnut Stain from Tim Holtz. And then I have this beautiful sheet of cut aparts from Photoplay, it's called You're a Keeper. And the item number is S as in Sam, A as in Apple, A as in Harry, 2751. So here's how we get started. We're going to take our file folder and we're just going to trim it. You're going to be cutting on that first mark on one half and then you'll have the four scores on the other half. It really will not matter uh, because you're only going to need nine inches this way and nine inches this way, which you're going to have. And this process is going to work for both pieces of the file folder. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this and on the side that doesn't have the tab, we're going to put it in and we're going to trim it at three and five eighths. So we're going to have this piece. This is going to be our nice little insert. I'm going to go ahead and clean up the bottom of mine just a little bit because it's kind of ragged. Yours might not be, so you don't have to do this step at this point. And then we're going to score this. We're going to place it in with the tab up and we're going to score at three and three quarters of an inch. And then we're going to score at seven and three quarters of an inch. And then we'll fold and burnish our scores. And when I close mine, I'm actually going to close it with this flap on top of that piece. So now that I have it like this, I'm going to use my stylus to just get me a score mark. So I'm going to take that stylus and I'm going to press it against this piece here. And that gives me the fold over for the envelope. So now I'm going to bring in my glue 
and I'm going to take my glue and just place a very thin bead of glue along the edge and along the bottom. And now I can fold this over and we're going to get it nice and stuck. And that is an easy peasy way to make an envelope. So when we fold over, we have our sweet little envelope. So now I'm going to bring in my card and we're going to take the card and slide it inside of the envelope to see how much we need to trim. I can see that I need to trim that much from the top or the bottom so that this will fit right down inside. So I'm going to take my ruler and my finger blade and I'm just going to cut off a little bit. You don't have to cut off a whole lot. And then here at the top, I have this little indentation there. I'm just going to use my scissors just to try to mirror that a little bit. It won't be exact, but it'll be close enough. So now we have our working surface for the card. I am going to bring in my distress ink and my little pouncer. And I'm just going to go along the edges of my card because I want to age it just a little bit. This isn't something that you have to do, but it's just one of those things that I think will look good on this type of a project. And so the rest is going to be very simple because as you can see on this one, I used to cut apart and I am going to use that very same cut apart on this one. So I've brought in my trimmer because I want to grab this cut apart and use it in my craft. And the cut apart that I have cut out is three by four. So I'm going to take some more of that Distress Ink and just go around these edges. And then I have a piece of three by five white cardstock that I'm going to place on the back. I'm not going to age that any. So I am going to add tape to the back of this and we're going to place it down on the back side. For those of you who are interested, I am trying a different tape runner. And the reason why I'm trying a different tape runner is not because I'm out of the ones that I normally use, which are full mark. It's because on the full mark site, they are out of those tape runners and they have been out of them for over six weeks. They might be stuck on a boat that hasn't been able to come into a port somewhere. I have absolutely no idea, but I am trying a different tape runner so that I can share with you alternatives if I find one that is suitable. Now, so far so good with this one. It is Sunday glue tape and I'm going to have it listed in the description box. I have not had any concerns with this, but guys, before you ever purchase anything that I'm using on the channel, please do your own research to make sure it's something that you would want to purchase. So we have this piece on the back. I'm going to flip this over. We're going to take this piece, place it on the front. Then I have this piece that I'm going to use on the back. So I am going to use a little bit of Distress Ink on this. And then I'm going to take one of those little butterfly clips. I don't have a link for these. They are from American Crafts. And the SKU is 718-813-554-4969. So I'm going to take my cut apart and my little paper clip and we're going to clip that right there. Then I'll take this cut apart and we're just going to put it on the back. And you can see how we've created such a cute little 
insertable. Now we have something that we can write on. And if we wanted to share a picture, we can. I'm going to bring in my Tim Holtz word stickers and I am going to find just a cute little saying that I think will work on here. And I like start each day with the grateful journey and how you place these is totally up to you. And then I'm going to take the word and, and we're going to put that right there. So start each day with a grateful heart and cultivate kindness. So we're going to put that right there. And so now we have another beautiful little card and envelope made from a decorative file folder. And here is the second half of that file folder. So now I can go back and make another set of these. So for those of you who have made the investment in the decorative file folders, because we use them frequently on the channel, here is another beautiful way that you can turn them into more than just a file folder. For those of you who only have the plain file folders, add some beautiful paper to the outside if you want, and you can still create a project that looks like this. So I'll bring that first one back in and it says, always take the scenic route because the journey is the destination. And then here we have start each day with a grateful heart, cultivate kindness. Both of them, we have the little bees on the front being held down using those butterfly clips. And when you flip them over, this is what we have. So this is perfect for sending to someone. You can turn this into a birthday card, an anniversary card, a graduation card, however you want to use it. This just gives you another beautiful and unique card option. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this project. If you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.